Here is another type of trap. This is a trap from a, uh, uh, a trap vertical, Hidaka. It's a 14 megahertz trap. And I'm going to try and find its resonance frequency using the bridge. I've got to connect it up to my bridge. Now, these are a little bit more complicated to, uh, to test. I've used some very short stubby wires to the uh, connection points of the trap. So I've nulled the bridge. I've nulled the bridge. There we go. And now I'll just tune around on the receiver and see what frequency that trap uh, tunes to. Well, it seems to be tuning around about 14 megahertz, which is what is expected. And you gain it a bit. Noise goes up, 15 megs. And and goes up about 13 megs. So the centre frequency of that trap is around about 14 megs. You can also use a grid dip meter or a dip oscillator to check your trap. Here I've coupled the dip oscillator coil as best I can to the trap. These are also a little bit difficult to couple. I've just hung a little piece of wire near the coil and I find I'm getting a reasonable dip. So if I now zoom down on the needle then you'll see as I tune around is the dip there and that corresponds to pretty well 14 megahertz which is around here somewhere oops on that uh, dip meter so if I pull the uh, dip oscillator away the, um, the dip disappears a little bit there Similarly, the W18X trap gives a very nice dip. I'll just show you that as you tune around. Zoom in a little bit. There's the dip there. And that's at about uh, 7.1 7 megahertz. Looking at that dial, it's a bit hard to see like that. There it is there. Oops. There we go. Of course, the big advantage of the RX bridge is that you don't need a dip meter to test your traps. You just need the RX bridge, which can be used for uh, other things such as antenna impedance measurements and a uh, shortwave receiver.